All right, guys, I got 6% battery left, but I wanted to show you um, how I make these uh, weight storage pins. A lot of companies sell these, and they overprice them like crazy. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys how I make them. All you need is a welder. Uh, obviously, if you know how to weld good, it's for the better. Uh, my, <laughs> my assistant, MJ, is going to cut them for me. Uh, if you're new, we're taking a break from car stuff. We just finished MJ's car up, putting a big turbo on it, and we are getting ready to cut these new pins. You want um, this piece cut off? Yeah, you might want to cut that piece first. Okay. So what we're doing, for these, these are just going to be, I think, six and a half inches long is what we measure those as. Um, and then I'll show you the, the squat stand I have, but these are the plates that I'm going to bolt to the squat stand. This is just uh, eighth inch uh, by three inch wide regular mild steel and I just measured and cut these holes six inches apart and I'll show you why because I made some of these pins already I'm hoping my cut got it cut that first one I'll be right back I'll show you how we we're gonna cut those and stuff so if you guys are uh, new and you want to see what I have for my setup I just have a, a rogue fitness I gotta turn all the lights on down here. I got a Rogue Fitness squat rack that I actually extended the top of this. This is like a 72 inch, it's a monster light, so this is three by three steel. And I extended the top half of this already. I welded all that and uh, I made this pull-up bar and stuff. And I made all these pins actually to hang all these weights on. And these are a bit longer uh, to hold more weight and what I'm doing is I want to get rid of this little weight tree. So I'm making new pins that are a little bit shorter because I'm going to put them on the inside here and here probably. And I'll just put like tens and fives or whatever on each side. I thought about going up one more, but I like having the rogue uh, uh, etch or uh, symbol, the laser cut symbol. I think that's what they use. They either laser cut it or... Uh, like water jet it, I don't know how to tell the difference. But uh, so yeah, I started with a squat stand. I moved, I got this HR2 uh, half rack and I bolted all this together. And pins, I made the pins that are on it, bolted all that together. Together. All right, my camera died. So like I was saying, I bolted, or I got all this together. Uh, I made these pins to hold the weights, uh, mainly I'm a welder by trade, so that's kind of what I do. <laughs> uh, that's also why I made this other stuff, because uh, if I was to buy all this and buy the pins and stuff, I couldn't afford it. So um, what I'm showing you now, so what I'm going to show you now is MJ cutting these. My camera died. Actually, this takes great video. I might start using this. I don't know how it's going to go, because it's like a square. It's not like that, you know, that ratio where it's widescreen. It's just a square, so... So what we got here, I can't remember what size pipe this is, uh, I just went to uh, my local metal supply store and got that, same with all that over there, that's for another project. But I just got this uh, from like a regular steel metal supply store, same with these and I just cut these and drilled these holes and stuff and so yeah, show you guys how I do this, show you guys how MJ's going to do this. I got to move this camera so much more. <laughs> Like I told you guys downstairs, the pegs I had downstairs were a lot longer because I have a lot more weights of like 45s and 25s. I don't have that many 35s, but I have a lot of 45s. These are for just 5s and 10s, which are thinner anyway, so that's why I'm making these shorter. Um, also because I don't have enough pipe otherwise. So what all I'm going to do with this is uh, center this up on here, weld this around. I'll deburr all this stuff first, all this this cutting uh, excess material, and then I'm going to weld this around, and then after it's done, I'm going to hang it up and paint it, so 
I'll show you guys that when it's all finished. And uh, I'll do a little time lapse of me welding these and painting them. So yeah, MJ's gonna get after cutting it. And we'll get back to you guys here in a minute. show you guys well it's turned out pretty good and all I'm gonna do just spray it with some gloss black paint and uh, after that let them cool I'll probably let it cure for a while it's probably too hot to paint but uh, You know, if you're new to DIY stuff, just kind of lay it on there, nice and smooth. Yeah, these are too hot, but I'm not too worried about it. I say it's too hot because it's bubbling in the paint, right, when it put, gets put on there. But all it's for is just hanging plates on, so. Yeah, that's it, right there. Easy peasy. Took me all of, you know, I cut it and then I cleaned the edges and I welded it and painted it and it probably took me five, ten minutes and uh, honestly this is like scrap, basic, basically scrap material. It took, I don't know, probably ten bucks to make all of these and uh, you know I had to buy the welder. If you don't know how to weld, you know, that's kind of a different story. Oh, I got some slag on the screen. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. I don't think it did. No, I think it's out of the way. Um, you know, I had to buy the welder. And you gotta figure out the time that you need to weld, but these little things aren't holding but a couple pounds up there. You could probably hang a car off this thing uh, with how I welded it, so. I mean, literally, that probably would hold. Uh, a couple thousand pounds probably um, a lot so a lot more than I would ever needed to so I'm gonna go ahead and paint these and then I'll just show you guys uh, the finished product I'm gonna let them cool off for a little bit and uh, paint them let them dry and then bolt them on there and I'll show you guys what it turns out like so I'm pretty excited finally get some more plate storage all right I got my little things done here and uh, like I told you guys earlier, I'm just gonna unbolt these, bolt them on here and here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, get the weights on there, and then show you guys the finished product. All right, so yeah, I got my uh, move my little thing out of the way here. Got my little pieces bolted up here. Hopefully it's bright enough for you guys to see all that. Um, got them bolted up. They're just uh, through here. I think they're four and a half inch bolts. Um, yeah, turn out good. The only problem with uh, what I've had is that I painted them uh, and you know putting this weight, sliding it on and off, chips the paint off. But as you can tell, the rest of my plates and stuff aren't in the best of shape. I don't know if you could see in that picture. You know, all my plates, the paint's coming off all of them and everything, and I'm not too too worried about it. So yeah, hopefully uh, this gives you guys some ideas. And look, see the paint's gonna come off it 